everyone comes with a life and a story and and more than one story and they uh, they write them if I can coach the stories out of them and they're wonderful stories. I began in 1965 as a part-time instructor and I didn't even have my master's degree. I got hired in 1966 and I still didn't have my master's degree. So I cannot tell you how economical a hire I was. And besides that, we were all flaming feminists and uh, we're gonna fight about not having enough female faculty. And I led a little group to the dean's office wearing clutter boots and a dress. It was the 70s, you know, you marched, you, I, I worried, I had an FBI record. I've never written to see, but <clears throat> we annoyed them. We annoyed the administration, I must say. I was not here for the transition to the Auraria campus because I had gone on sabbatical leave in 1975, or 76 actually, after I contracted breast cancer in 1975, and I thought I was gonna die. So I went out on a big adventure to write a book before I died, and then I didn't die. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> And I came back, and so that was an exciting uh, sabbatical year, and it's the topic of my book, searching for my uncle, my great uncle Ray Boynton, and also uh, recovering or going through the treatments for breast cancer and having California type adventures, new age adventures. I came back and I uh, managed to convince Metro State that we absolutely had, had to have a writing center. We have one, we still have one, and it's a good, good thing. People need a writing center. Writing is a community activity. You need a lot of people listening and, and, and putting in input and then getting input and then adjusting and then giving out more input. The first thing to overcome is fear of the blank page. Oh, that's what I would say. And I would give them a blank page and tell them to put a word or two on it and put the, put the words in lines. Just write sentences and break them up into lines. And that'd be all right. When I started, my sister had me writing affirmations. I am a promising young poet. I tell people I'm a writer. I tell people I'm a writer. In California in 1976, and now I am a poet and a writer and the affirmations come true and I appreciate very much uh, having a twirl of pen, being able to do it uh, and teaching other people to do it.